Hey y'all, Irix guy here back again with another, uh, just another video. I just finished my, well actually I'm about to go on my bike ride, uh, get some exercise and stuff because actually, and that's something you'll find as, uh, as an entrepreneur, most of your thinking, when you're thinking about new ideas, and, and at least it's this way for me, when I'm thinking about new video ideas, when I'm thinking about new products to create, that sort of thing, I usually do it when I'm riding my bike when I'm in the gym, you know, maybe I'm taking a shower or something like that. I'm always thinking about, you know, what can I do to make money? What can I do to make money? And what's next? What's next? What's next? You know, you always got to be thinking. And that's, that's something with entrepreneurs. Not everyone has the entrepreneur mentality. A prime example of someone, and I don't mean this in a negative way or a stereotypical way, but I just want to paint the picture of someone that's probably not an entrepreneur. So someone that's probably not an entrepreneur is probably someone that's watching TV, playing a video game or something like that, and then a TV commercial comes on and it's a, you know, a nice house or a nice yacht or you know, a nice tropical vacation destination or something like that. And they're like, well, I'll never get to do that. Or, well, that's nice for them. Negative attitude. What you should do if you're an entrepreneur, what you should do is look at that and be like, well, you know, that's a nice yacht or that's a nice travel destination, but I want more. And then ask yourself, how am I going to do it? And then create a plan. And if you fail once, fail again, fail again, fail again. Fail as much as you need to until you meet or exceed your own personal goals. Because in this world, people assume, people, many people assume that just because of, you know, people feel that if, if they go a traditional route from a career perspective. So someone thinks, okay, well, I'm going, to get the, I'm going to get the BS degree. I'm going to get the master's degree. I'm going to get the PhD. And then I'm going to get all of these certifications. That's great. And a lot of people that get that, they have a great life. But if someone wants more, if someone wants more, what they've got to do, they've got to think outside of the box and not only challenge themselves, but they've got to challenge the world. Because with entrepreneurship, when a service and or product is created, with entrepreneurship, it's a lot about the perception of that product or service. So it could be a simple, just think of, a, of an old world example. A slap bracelet. You, you may be too old to remember those, but it's basically a piece of a mini blind that if you slapped, it became a bracelet on your, on your wrist. The cost to produce those from a materials perspective, was extremely low. The markup was huge. The demand was huge. It was a fad. So it was one of those deals where people that were behind the slap bracelet manufacturing and branding and, and uh, distribution, they made insane amounts of money for a short period of time because it was a fad. But it's one of those deals, there's nothing wrong with a fad. If someone can monetize that fad enough to get in and get out. Because being an entrepreneur, it's not about staying with that same product or that service. So what if an entrepreneur makes, and, and numbers are subjective, because a million dollars to one person is nothing to someone else, yet to someone else it's, it's a you know, five lifetimes worth of achievement. So it's unfair to put a... Uh, to put a to put a value on it, but if you, if you get into something, you know, make more than you want to make and get out and move on. And then use a percentage of those profits to fund the next idea and just keep going and going. Now where I'm different from an entrepreneurial mindset, where I'm different is that I'm going to exceed my personal expectations. I'm going to greatly exceed them. But where I'm different is that I will have an exit plan. Because someone that they always want more and more and more, you know, you've got to define that up front. Because when it gets to the point to where you've greatly exceeded what you need and want, there's no need to just work yourself to death and, and not enjoy life. You know, use that self-created opportunity to get out and to explore. And to eat good food and relax and just function as an inspirational figure in the eyes of the world.
You know, that's, that's the end game right there. The end game is not continuously creating products and services. The end game is enjoying the reward from your efforts in the past. But with that said, using the lessons learned to encourage others, to encourage others to become entrepreneurs, successful entrepreneurs, that's what it's all about. Because then you're using your own lessons learned. Maybe it's been a few weeks of experience, a few months, a few years. Maybe it's been a lifetime of experience. Whatever your personal portfolio of perceived value is, that can be shared with others. And it can make them feel good. And, if, and as other people are, feel inspired, then everybody's happier. I mean, it's just a, it's an interesting concept. I feel that it's an extremely interesting concept. And this is just... When I ride my bike, as I mentioned earlier, when I ride my bike, when I shower, when I'm trying to go to sleep, well, I usually, not when I'm trying to go to sleep because then it's hard to sleep if you're, if you're constantly running through ideas, but it's, it's a nonstop process, and it's not for everyone, and that's why I want to, this IRIX guy supports entrepreneurs, that's why this is going to become, it's going to be fun for me because, I, I mean, I eat, I, I eat and sleep this stuff, right? It's going to be fun for me, but I hope that it'll be inspirational for you and potentially valuable. You know, so if you've got an idea for a product and or a service, if you've got an idea, send me an email, irixsky.com. We'll correspond. Is it something that would be cool to, to discuss during an upcoming uh, Irix Guy Supports Entrepreneurs show? Hopefully so. Now, this isn't like some other shows. I know there's a lot of, you know, there's angel investors, there's... Uh, you know, all, all those sorts of things where, where money is the, is the thing. You know, oh, well, you know, we'll give you X amount of money and, and then we take X blah, 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 whatever of product or service. That's not my intent. What I want to do, and, and ultimately it's, it's going to benefit me because it's going to benefit me from the perspective that as people are inspired and entertained by this Irix Guy Supports Entrepreneurs video series, it's bringing more views to my channel, which that's good for me because I'm all about visibility. Social media is my thing. Social media mastery is my thing, and I love it. It's a way to relax. I don't play video games. I watch maybe 20 minutes of TV at night just to fall asleep. That's it. This is my video game. So I hope it's something that, that everyone enjoys because this is just, you know, like any new idea. You've got to figure it out. And as this show progresses and, and as more people, uh, you know, as, as I collaborate with more uh, like-minded entrepreneurs and we're able to put our heads together and, you know, I, I feel confident that it's really going to provide value for the world and for people that, you know, maybe you didn't even know that you wanted to be an entrepreneur or you needed to be an entrepreneur. You know, maybe this is the, the bed of motivation that's necessary to encourage you as an individual to take that next step of curiosity and say, well, I'm good with this. And if I had this, it would benefit me, but it could potentially benefit the world. And that's how an entrepreneur thinks. is thinking outside of the box. is thinking about things that you're personally familiar with that you would feel comfortable exploring, exploring rather, from a product design and or service design perspective and taking those ideas in your head, the ideas that you have while you're working out or taking a shower, using the bathroom, whatever, who cares? Whenever you get those ideas, being able to take those ideas from idea to paper to visibility to, hey, maybe beyond prototype, an actual product, that when you're in that store, when you're in a physical store or an online store, you see your brand, and you see people buying it, and you're like, wow, <laughs> I created that. So think about this. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, Irish Guy Supports Entrepreneurs just about to heat up, and, and I, am, I am beyond stoked. It feels good to have a fresh idea for, uh, for 2015 and beyond, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, youtube.com forward slash Irish Guy. 
or share this video with others. Check out my newsletter. You can sign up for that on irishguy.com. And uh, submit me your idea. Right now, at the time of posting this, if you go to irishguy.com and you hit the contact form, you can email me through there. Uh, what I'm going to do is create a new form. And when it's available, it'll be on irishguy.com. But it's going to be a, uh, a submission form where you can submit your idea. And, and, and it's not my intent, keep in mind, it's not my intent to gather the ins and outs of your idea for your product and or your service. What I'm here to do, if, if you're willing to share that information, if you want to create the possibility of enhanced visibility for your idea, that's what this is about. If you want to have your idea critiqued, you know, here's, here's, my, new, uh, here's my new remote control. You know, how would you make it better? and have a panel in front of you with that sample or maybe even uh, yeah, the prototype or maybe just the idea on paper. Have it in front of them. And be like, I like this, I don't like this, I like this, I don't like that. Taking it a step further, having a live viewership that's watching and critiquing. It's going to be fun. Thanks for watching and y'all have a good day.